So here he is, the former two-time UFC light heavyweight title challenger, Alexander Gustafson. There was some retirement talk a few years ago, but he seems to have his head screwed on right now. Came back with that huge knockout of Glover to Shara not all that long ago that many argue was the best performance of his UFC. Yes, and I'm glad that Alexander Gustafson is still here. Yeah. Because why would you leave when you still are so valuable to everything that happens in the UFC light heavyweight division? A very, very skilled striker underrated wrestling has scored takedowns on some of the best wrestlers the UFC light heavyweight division has ever seen. Tall, big, great cardio, a fantastic fighter is Alexander Gustafson. And he's gonna hang around at least long enough to realize a third crack at that elusive UFC light heavyweight title. Alexander Gustafson, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. If you've been there, you've done that. That has been on the planet putting that very distinction on the planet. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Now, he wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary, and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. Well, so much UFC history has played out here at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Plenty more where that came from tonight. All ready to go. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alexander the Mahler Gustafsson. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight Champion of the world, Stefan Skyscraper! Ooh. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, round one of this stand-up only fight is underway. A friendly reminder of the rule set. Not a whole lot of them, but you can't grapple or wrestle at all. And if the fight does hit the canvas, no follow-up strikes permitted on the ground. Right on the button. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage, it's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going to He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems. We'll try to break the fight into a closer distance. His cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. 
Just over three minutes to go. Right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the oh And this is why you pay to be in the building. Back and forth we go. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Screw gets caught by that strap punch there. Well, you can see a little bit of swelling in and around that left eye now. They are going at it with each other. These two guys want to end the fight very fast. So pretty oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent swabble chair. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Strikes have landed for Alexander Gustafson. Gustafson's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Oh, beautiful hook there. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Just out of range with the big right hand. Really seeing things well offensively here tonight, and he's caused a lot of swelling there. You gotta address this now, because it's only going to get worse. Your opponent is not gonna let you, let you off the hook. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overy versus Adonis. I haven't found out the Overy head. to see another round. You saw him get knocked down near the end of the round. If there were 10 more seconds, that likely would have been the end of his night. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. This crowd is... Oh, huge kick to the leg. Gustafson, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more, though. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, my goodness. Nice shot to the body there. Gustafson gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. Strew's got a bruise appearing on that left side right now. You gotta think that body investment is gonna pay dividends. <laughs> Unable to connect with a right hook. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, he can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt, and he's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this. That one appeared to start him. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 36 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed USC heavyweight champion.
champion of the world, Alexander the Mauler Gustafsson. Man, so with an entire nation on his back, Alexander Gustafsson gets the job done yet again. When he puts it all together, there may be no more exciting fighter on this UFC roster. You gotta think before his career is said and done, Gustafson will eventually be belted with that elusive UFC.